and welcome back to The Pin Man. I am Mike West, and our very special guest today is... The Bauer 507 Horses. The Bauer 507 caught my attention a few years ago as I saw a review, and I just love the... Uh, the the style of the pen it's a it's a classic style but it has this um, beautiful I guess artwork on it it's nothing that uh, is going to wind up in a museum anytime soon but uh, it's just it's just a cool cool design it has a tactile feel to it but when you hold it it is hardly disturbing it's a it's a nice pin to hold in your hand. It's got a it's got a nice weight, not too heavy, not too not too light, and so forth. It's got a nice looking nib to it, and again, we'll show you all that in just a few minutes. All right. Well, I want to thank you for tuning in to the Pin Man, and I hope this review is helpful to you. All right. Now we're going to transition over to some. Uh, some pictures of the color of the pen. We'll give you a tour of the pen and a writing sample. All right, great. Again, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you on the other side. Alrighty, here we have the Bauer. 507 horses around the barrel of the pin. You see a variety of horses there embedded. I think I actually saw this somewhere called the seven horses, but as I went around and counted, all I could see was five. And then you have some uh, Chinese uh, writing, Mandarin, I, I'm assuming, and I have no idea what it says. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I just thought this was kind of a kind of a, a neat uh, design on here. And you'll have three colors. They're called copper, brass, and I think pewter. I've seen uh, seen them called uh, other uh, colors elsewhere. The one that's copper is most noticeable. The brass and the pewter look very, very similar. Okay, on the clip here, have uh, what I would call an Art Deco design. At least that's what it reminds reminds me of. The uh, the the body, of course, as you see. Let me zoom out here a little bit. The body is uh, straight uh, from the, the cap, is, has just a little bit maybe of shape, but it's all straight all the way to the finial. The finial is uh, just plain black and it's kind of curved there on the end. Come up to the cap and you have this little, it almost looks like a maybe to represent a, a bird, I'm not sure. And then around, as you turn around, oops, this is Bauer and Bauer. It, all it is is it's just a smooth cap. It's just a smooth gold or um, gold plated of some sort, brass looking. I doubt it's gold plated, but anyhow. So it comes apart with a click, so it's a snap cap there. It has a really nice uh, feel to the uh, to the capping mechanism. Uh, I, I would say it's on par with other quality uh, pins. The grip section is uh, has some 
lines in it, like cuts, grooves. And so the downside of that is it can pick up it can pick up dirt or it wears. You can see it's just plastic and you can see where it, where it wears. I bought this uh, a few years ago actually so that's why I don't have the packaging. I believe when I got it the packaging was very simple. It was just some uh, like bubble wrap around it whatnot but hey for the price uh, it was it was pretty good. <laughs> then it comes up to this in there just a brass piece and this is a medium nib and I thought the I thought the nib was was nice in that it has a it, it does have a unique style to it I think uh, it's not your typical Yovo looking type of nib uh, which I you know I love Yovo, Yovo nibs but you, you see it around a lot, even on the uh, what they call kit pins and so forth, uh, the inexpensive nibs that come with those. But I, yeah, I think it's a, I think it's a nice, nice looking nib. Now, from the breather hole to the hilt, it just reads Bauer, and so that's the uh, uniqueness of that and there's your uh, very typical uh, for inexpensive but very functional it's a uh, the uh, feed there it just screws apart it is it is brass uh, it's got brass threads on brass and then it does come with a converter so I can't remember if it actually if it came with any ink cartridges. I would imagine they usually do uh, come with one or two ink cartridges. But uh, what's really cool, and you can see the the Bauer uh, logo right there as well, is that on an inexpensive pen, very inexpensive pen, you get a converter. And uh, you know some people have rightly. Uh, commented uh, about the Lamy Safaris and some other inexpensive, I know, um, Diplomat uh, pens on their Magnum and on the Esteem, the Diplomat Esteem. The, uh, they, don't, they don't come with a converter. Now some retailers will, I think with my Magnum Goulet, put in an inexpensive converter uh, that was all plastic, but this even has metal here. Um, I take that apart. It's just plastic on the, on the tip there, but that's fine. And there you have the Bauer 507 Horses. Okay, the writing sample. We are using Rhodia paper. And we have the Bauer, B-A-O-E-R, 507, horses. And it is a medium nib. Ink is Diamine. Ace of Blue. Okay, Ink Flow. Very nice, and as you can see, uh, <laughs> the dry time being on Rhodia, and uh, the ink itself is uh, a little slow, but it has very good ink flow. The uh, as far as line variation, you can eke some out. Steel nib, so if you're going to get variation, you know, you're going to have to be pressing down. And why get a fountain pen if you have to press down hard on it, as far as I'm concerned? But that's just me. All right. How about, uh, let's see. All 
Writing increases brain power. Now this this pin is uh, I uh, I just did a video not too long ago on smoothing the the nib, and I used this pin as an example on how to do it. So they, you know, it's going to be a little smoother than what it was when I started. There's, there's only a little, a small bit of feedback, not annoying at all. I like really smooth nibs, and I, I don't find this, what feedback is in this annoying at all. Just kind of back off your pressure a little bit, and it's fine. I mean, I'm hardly putting any pressure on this nib right now, and you get a little, I mean, you know it's touching paper, but other than that, it's not that bad. Okay, reverse writing. It does it, and it does it well. There is feedback, as is typical when you do reverse writing. But it will give you a nice fine to extra fine uh, line there. And I didn't... Some pins when you do reverse writing, it, they're really scratchy, but um, I don't find this scratchy at all. Of course, when I smooth the nib, remember, I flipped it over and smoothed the other side for such a purpose. Okay. And I am happy. I hope you're happy. All right, there you go. There is the writing sample of the Bauer 507 horses. Hey, I want to thank you for taking time in your busy day to tune in to the Pin Man and to check out this, this review. And I encourage you to leave comments below that might not only help me to do a better job in reviewing uh, pins and pin related projects, but especially to help other viewers uh, to know more about these products because maybe you have bought the pin based on my review or some others reviews and you have your own two cents to uh to throw in there hey we're all just trying to help each other out so thanks again and again be sure to all right and check out a couple of these other uh, videos that um, might be of interest to you i hope so all right thank you and have a great day